Hey subby, so I actually lost the intro clip to this video, but if you guys are interested in seeing a really cute and easy on the go hairstyle for people with very little time, stay tuned. So I received the wig in this box, you know, the typical royal purple lovely hair shipping and packaging containing boxes. And I'm just going to be putting these all together in one package. And I'm going to be putting these all together in one package. Wig supplies. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what's inside. So it has an elastic band, which I won't be needing because of the type of wig that it is today that we're using, but it's still very handy if you have other wigs. Um, tweezer. Um, it also has a lovely hair clip. Let me see if I can show you guys this a little bit better. Yeah, so it has a lovely hair clip that it comes with. It also has. Ooh, this is new. They have these like edge wrap scarves to tie your edges down, which I will be needing today. So very handy. And it just says love me here in the royal purple and like a satin material. And a comb as usual. And a little pack of some hair clips, which also is very handy for this type of wig if you wanted to, to like for extra security to like make sure the wig is down. You can put some clips in there. And last but not least, it came with this extra headband. Super cute. I like working out and stuff, but I don't think I'll be using this today. I have another headband that I got from AliExpress, which I want to try it out because I bought it to go with these shades a while ago and I want to see how it looks together. So I'm probably gonna be using that. But nonetheless, a really good headband. Um, and it's just like a double headband, so it doubles, so it's extra tight and really good quality. So that's that. If you guys would like to see how I achieved this look using a half a wig, because it's really a half wig, but they call it a headband wig, stay tuned. These wigs are really, really great for if you're on the go, if you're a new mom, you don't have much time, uh, you're a college student, again, on the go, stuff like that. Also, really, really good for um, just low stress hairstyles on your edges because one of the things that i've been struggling with is finding hairstyles that's not going to have cause tension on my edges and this wig is a really really good idea for that because it's actually going to be back here and your hair is going to be out so that's really really good and yeah i'm excited to see how it's going to look on my head with my edges done um, so yeah let's get into it first things first i'm going to push pull the stocking cap back. I could take it off, but I'll just pull it back for now. And I'm gonna apply some gel. My hair is in braids, but there's such big braids and such loose braids that you won't even be able to tell. So I'm gonna apply some gel going backwards and I'll pull, like, pull out some edges and swoop them down and also like, you know, make sure they're stuck down with a little bit of edge control. And I'll show you guys edge control in like a few minutes. So I just came up a little bit closer so you guys can get like a better idea, a better visual of like what I'm doing with my edges. And also I dampened my edges just a little bit because you don't want to work with dry hair. You're going to end up breaking your hair much more if you like try to slick back and apply all of this edge control into dry hair. Your hair is going to break. So you want to like dampen your hair, put some conditioner or put some water or put a mixture of both in your hair on your edges. And then you can get working with the gel and the edge control. So. Let's do it. So I'm just like sectioning off the edges that I'm gonna be like slicking and yeah, just pushing back the ones that I'm not gonna be doing anything to. And the gel that I'm using right now is the Eco, no, sorry, it's the Edge Boost Gel in the Lemon Berry scent. I really like this gel, but my favorite gel is the um, 
Eco Styler Jamaican Black Castor and Flaxseed. So either one of those works fine. And the edge control that I'm gonna be using today is these the Blessed Hands Edge Control. I'll link the Instagram where you can purchase it from down in the description box below. And I'll also be using my handy dandy Kayvani edge control. Um, this is also a really great edge control. I'll link it down in the description box for you guys below so you guys can purchase that. It's really, really great, both of them. So, yeah. Just gonna slick it back into the rest of the style. Yeah, I'm just gonna have my sides down like this. He uses the Spanish girl edges, like <laughs> the sides down like that. Okay. So now, like I said, I'm gonna secure the back portion with the cap. I'm gonna pull it back and I'm gonna apply the lovely hair silk scarf just to make sure that the edges is stuck in place and they're not going anywhere. I'm just gonna tie that in the back. And you can take a blow dryer and just blow dry it on like warm for like five minutes. Or you can just like air dry it for 10 minutes. So that's that. I'm gonna air dry it for 10 minutes and I'll be back. And so I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes, a little bit less, maybe a little, a few minutes less than 10 minutes. So yeah, and this is the wig that I'm gonna be applying as you guys have seen before. I'll insert a clip of how it looked before when, before like I washed it. I washed it just so it can get a little bit more realistic as to what the curl pattern really is. But I'll insert a couple clips like here and here of what the wig looked like before I had done that. Um, Yeah, the only thing I would do to this wig, I would dye it jet black because my hair is like, really close to black and this is like a brown color but it'll work it'll still work for now um yeah and so this is their kinky curly texture they also have like body wave straight whatever you guys want but i wanted it to be something that i really didn't have to do anything to my hair straight and press my hair i didn't have to do anything like that very very low maintenance so that's why i got something that's similar to my hair texture but um yeah there's so many different textures that you guys can check out i'll link the um link to the headband wig down below so you guys can like check those out for yourself and see if you're interested um but yeah so it, the wig looks like this typical half wig it has combs i don't think i'll be using the combs though because i feel like they irritate me um and it like at the front base of the wig it has a headband and the headband has like these velcro straps so that's really handy as well um, and yeah, you can put your headband over this or you can leave this to like be used as the headband. So either one works, whichever works for you. Like if you're wearing all black, keep this. If you want to wear a pop of color, you could put a headband on top of it. So let me just remove my edge wrap. edges laid thanks to the edge controls that I use and I'm just gonna apply the wig I think I'll use the comb in the back but I don't think I'm gonna be using the side combs so I'm not gonna bring it all the way up because I want my edges to show you know like that was the point <laughs> of doing my edges was for them to show so I'm not gonna bring it all the way up in the front, but if you wanted to, you could. Like if you didn't wanna have to have your, if you wanted at le as least of your hair showing as possible, then you could definitely have done that, but I'm okay. 
flip it over. How cute is that? And like, you can go in if you wanted to. Um, I'm a little extra, so I just might. And like, cut some layers in it. Take your pick, pick it out. So it looks even more realistic. Whatever you wanna do, do it, girl. Like, do it. It's your hair. You bought it. Do it. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna like cut a few layers towards the top just so it like shapes. It looks a little bit more natural. You don't have to, I'm extra, so I'm gonna do it. And to show you guys what it's gonna look like, when you, if you wanted to do it, I'll do it for you guys. But yeah, so you can literally leave it like this. You can put a, um, another headband on top if you didn't want it to be black. Whatever you want. So I'm just gonna cut a few layers and yeah, I'll be back. I'm feeling this, y'all. This is so cute. Then I'm just gonna put my personal headband over the top of this and, you know, accessorize a little bit and I'll be back to show you guys the end result but it's cute already like you could stop here but you know y'all know me like i'm gonna show you guys how to elevate everything like this is more this is cute but we gonna elevate it just a little bit just a, just, a, just a little bit okay so i just put on this really cute like tropical let me see if you guys can see that really cute like tropical green headband that i got from ali and i'm just gonna pair it with these shades that I got from Shein. I'll link the video because I did like a haul with like a bunch of different shades I got from Shein. This black top, I'm gonna wear with some jeans and you're good to go. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Super, super easy, easy breezy, very vacation friendly, very mom friendly, very on the go friendly, college girl friendly. 